All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's going to be NIP and TSM best of one game on Cobblestone for the ESL ESCA Pro League. My man is with me is Semler. Just about any second now, Alu going to be picking up that kill on device. And TSM did just take out Titan. That was on overpass, and it was uh, quite easy for them as well. We'll see if it's going to be as easy this time around or if NIP is going to have a little bit more to say. They did get the early start here, and they're going to give up the bomb site, though. Bomb goes down in favor of TSM, and look at the spread they have here on the Danish side. They are all over this bomb site, and it's going to be a little bit tricky, I think, for NIP to get back into it. Carrigan picking up a kill as well. Freiburg already tagged him down to three health, and that's not a good sign for what's to come. He's trying to make it up, but he's going to go down. Forrest jumping into the weakening arms of Dupree and Cajun, and that's going to be the round solidly favoring TSM. Bit of a questionable start there. Just uh, the early kill from Alu, definitely a good indication. But then they ended up giving up the bomber site because TSM had players in position all the way long, middle, and then I think by SWAT, truck and another guy on site here. This kind of setup makes it really hard to get in. Whether you go in here or here or this way, it doesn't really matter. You're going to be walking into a pretty solid crossfire. So, um, yeah, a bit of a shame for NIP. I think they are definitely the underdogs in this in this particular match. So we're going to have to see if they can uh, step it up here and do just a little bit better. Second round is coming up. And I've got Semla with me once again. What's up, Semla? Hey, I'm back, I'm back. Can we hear me? Yes, awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, Cobblestone, it seems like uh, NIP weren't able to pick up the pistols. So that's a little unfortunate for them. This is definitely not the kind of start you want to be giving to TSM, especially considering what we just saw versus Titan. Yeah, you're right. Brutal game that was. Yeah, that was a bit one-sided. TSM, they were just hitting shots. At the, what, what was it? At the end of the f third round, Titan only had like two frags. So um, definitely not going Titan's way in the end. But, uh, I mean, NIP, they seem to be playing a bit more free-spirited these days. You know, a bit more wild. A little bit of the, the shadow of, you know, or, you know, a glimmer of their old selves. Yeah, definitely. And if... if I mean, if I, if I believed that that was why it was happening, I'd be so excited. But, you know, I, I worry that it's something else, that it's uh, maybe also just them sort of losing a bit of control over the roster. This time, though, they're actually not even going to try and fight at the uh, A bomb site here. They're just uh, falling back into the uh, AP bomb site instead, trying to see if they can make it out. Get right, stabbing like a mad person. Yeah, this is, uh, ooh. Yeah, this is where it gets a little scary for Dupree. Run away, but it's not going to happen. And he's got an AK as well, wow. so that's a great find for an IP. That's ideal, actually. Best case is, uh, you know, they stay alive. They keep some guys alive with the Kevlar, and uh, now they have an AK to play with. This, it couldn't actually get any better here for an IP considering the circumstances. Yeah, that's very important, obviously. So you're right, but great job right there. And um, they've got two armors as well to fight with next round. They've set themselves up nicely for a third round here. TSM, I mean... They get the round, they don't really, they just lose to pre. Every, everyone's happy, it seems. That doesn't happen too often. No, we're, we're, we're uh, very unhappy in CS, Anders. You know, nobody's ever really actually happy in CS. It's good, though. I mean, you know, content people rarely ever, like, you know, do anything interesting. It feels like, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of discontent, a little bit of... Uh, Some malcontent. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Then, uh, then people start to get creative and, and change things. Can't um, be too happy all the time, that's not good. I mean, Nip, Nip are the perfect example of that, right? Yeah, you're right. 87 and 0, and then, you know, woo, that came to a stop at some point. Forrest Deck going to be up a good headshot on Carrigan with that stolen AK-47. And he is going to be trying to make his way back. It's a good uh, job, at least there is Carrigan going down, because next line would have been device with the bomb. Mm -hmm. That would have made things very tricky for TSM. For while now, putting a little bit of pressure here on Drop Zone and trying to see if they can get in and uh, maybe open up this B-bomb site. Yeah, definitely not an ideal flash there. Ooh. They're hoping, I mean, exactly, get right in this position with the 5-7. This could be lethal for Zipnix, who's going to come around this corner. They're taking a little bit of damage here, and the rotation, this is, the full rotation is going to come out now. NIP already on the B site with all five members. They're going to get the backstab in with Freiburg as well. They do hear it coming. Dupree tries to turn around, but he's not going to be fast enough. And they're getting pinned down here, TSM. This is all going NIP's way. Yeah, indeed. Freiburg with a nice jump up there. Device can kicking off one. Another headshot. He's just going to keep going. Triple headshot. And now he's got the quad kill. He's looking for Get Right. 30 seconds left. And Get Right, he must be feeling just a little bit worried. Device is going to look for it, but he goes down. He's so close to being the ace, but it doesn't work out. Get Right instead. Going to shut him down. What did we just see Device do? Like, what on earth was that? I mean, already four was pretty f amazing. But had that been the ace, that probably wouldn't have been the, one of the all time greatest plays. Like, this is unreal. He just starts racking them up. Spots the first, there it is, gets another one, gets another one, Whoa. and oh, like, yeah, Get Right just barely gets out of there in time. Unreal. 
that was <laughs> very, very scary to witness. Some true sort of mechanical aim coming out. God, it's so scary. If you're an IP now, you've got to be really okay, okay. Right, device, we get it. Calm down, man. Give us a chance. And while well, double AWP play here for NIP now after the rounds, they've cut it a bit close, but there's the jump and there's the shot. Forrest going to pick Harrigan out, second round running. And even going for a little bit of a counter boost here, get right. This could be interesting. I like it. Bomb is waiting around there as well, so they are going to start heading back eventually. Finally, Device comes into play. He takes out Forrest, but it's still a man advantage for NIP. Ooh, Sipnix, did he see this? But obviously didn't. And get right will take him out. It looks like maybe he could have spotted the top of his head there. Mm. But get right goes from counter boosting all the way to boosting up on the ledge there and it's going to be picking up a really great kill now he's waiting all the way back here fantastic angle and a double kill for him cajun trying to click away will drop the second orb but if they can just save one of them this round is still pretty decent for nip yeah freiberg exactly i thought i thought he was going to think about it for a minute there 30 seconds left still time to play around if he wanted to just stay on the ak but Gonna be get right, getting caught out. Now it's Cajun B's time to shine. He picks up the first man. 25 seconds left though. This really isn't a whole lot of time to act with. And he's worried about where Freiburg is as well. He knows where Getright's playing from. 15 seconds. And he's gonna try and hoof it over to that B site, but Freiburg's already in position. And I bet you Freiburg wished he had his rifle now. This is not ideal with the AWP. He's gonna have one shot and he gets it done. Nicely done by Freiburg. Yeah, a very important kill. If that bomb goes down, then suddenly things change a fair bit. So, uh, could have been a little bit scary, but he saves the round and the AWP and uh, makes it two and two. No bomb plant for TSM, but because they were so close, and you can bet you this is something they're thinking because they got all those kills, you know, they want to try and see if they can force it up here. It might well be a B rush. This would be sort of a classic buy for a B rush, wouldn't it? Straight into drop, perhaps? Yeah. You know, just try and split a couple of people this way, a couple of people this way. Try and see if you can't make it work. Yeah, you got the Nancy Rush nades going out. I mean, NIP, you're right, though. They're absolutely right, TSM, to try and apply the pressure here. These are close rounds. NIP still on the back foot. If TSM can get in here fast, this would be it. But the rotation's already coming out from NIP. They aren't hesitating. They've got four guys on the B site already waiting for TSM to get out here. Yeah, yeah. Forrest is going to make his way around the smoke then to take down Carrigan. Bomb is in Sipnik's hands, and they at least need a bomb plant right now, but it's looking a little bit tough at the moment. Sipnix, he's going to get the one kill, picks up a second one, and gets a chance to reload. So still a 3v3 here, and that bomb plant finally going to go through. Great job for TSM so far. Bomb will go down, get right, and is going to be killed after picking up just the one kill. So still two versus two, and Sipnik's playing on the site, looking for an opening. Forrest and Alu, and especially Alu with that AWP in the back lines here. That's going to be dangerous. Forrest going down, and Alu, he was getting wrapped around by a device. It's a triple kill for Sipnik and TSM win the round in spite of a four-man stack. That is a very bad sign. That is soul-shattering for NIP. If you make the right call, you have four players there, you know they have pistols, that's not a round you lose. That's a round where you crush TSM, yeah. you break them, you force them onto an eco, and you just get control of the rounds. You start getting rounds on the board. Instead, they're back to pistols here on NIP's side. That's got to be so frustrating for them. And that's going to make them doubt themselves. That's the that's the real issue here. It's only going to bolster TSM's confidence, where it's like round after round, TSM are making it close, only one or two players surviving for NIP, and then they win a pistol forced by. Like, yeah, that's been, not acceptable. It's been a while since I watched Star Wars similar, but is doubt one of the things that also leads to the dark side, or is it is it just fear? I don't know. Four is there, going to be uh, getting himself killed. And Alu also going down. Get right, last man standing. You know, I feel like as we're getting closer to the release of the Star Wars movie, we have to like we have to like a marathon so we can be like ready yes. with like Star Wars quotes for the casting. You know, we have yes. to we have to get mentally prepared. Don't worry, Anders, it's gonna happen. All right. How much time do we have in the hotel room over the next couple days? Quite a bit, actually. Oh, there you go, mate. We got dominoes on speed dial. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's happening. All right. Good. I'm glad. I mean. I was going to go a different direction when you were like, fear, and I was going to be like, well, this isn't backcountry, Anders. Oh. But, you know, that, that works. That's so. a deep reference that, that only very few people will really get. Very good reference, though. Yeah. You know, the first time I watched that movie, I, I couldn't even finish it because I thought it was so weird. I was like, I had no idea what's happening, and I'm bored. And then the second time I watched it, maybe like five years later, I thought, why the hell did I ever stop watching this the first time? <laughs> All right, well, Freiburg making his way through and already down to four health. He was jumping with the smoke, and I think he was just basically getting pre-fired there, which is such a common thing. Question is, four health and a mag seven in the corner, is it enough, Samler, to, uh, to create something interesting here? The one shot. I mean, get right. He's going to get caught. Swag seven, and he still gets one. 
Nicely done by Get Right. And now this makes it very interesting here for Freiburg, although he has been spotted out by Device. He's going to go for the jumping swag. That baits them in for Exist to go to work. Spray from Exist, but still fair trade. All lose there, though, to stem the tide. Two on two now. Cajun and Device, last two alive for TSM. And that bomb is dropped out in the open. Device in a bit of an awkward spot. Woo! Especially when you get a shot in the face point blank by a shotgun. Freiburg trying to find the angle still. Well, look who's coming up from behind. Right now, Device is buying time. Just saying, all right, as long as you're focused on me, you won't be worried about Cajun B. But Alan still gets that flick. It's ridiculous. Bomb. But he got his fingers on it. But Freiburg is there to take him out. He survives the round on four health. Picks up an AK. Actually Ooh. picks up an AWP there. And that's going to be an IP winning the round. So great job right there. Getting back into it with the force buy. I feel like this is going to be a much more like just kind of what we saw from TSA, uh, from Fnatic and Titan, you know? It's just going to be back and forth really close rounds because there is just so much like raw skill on both of these teams. I could see it. I could see it being one of those uh, one of those maps where it just goes back and forth full trades. Uh, I mean, TSM, they continue to put the pressure on Plateau early. Device is going to be taking point there. Interesting that they've decided to change up whose role it is to go onto the other side of the smoke as well. It used to be that it was Kerrigan that was over here, but instead it's Device, and he gets a good result to start. He takes out Exist, and he gets a double kill. Freiburg is gone, and, well, this this could actually be calamitous for NIP. If they lose this round, if they don't save anything, this... I, look at that, yeah, exactly, they have no money. Yeah, definitely not a good place to be in. Alu, though, picking up a kill there, four versus three. See if they can bring it back. Forest getting tacked up a little bit. The bomb will go down. And again, they're being flanked. And it's Cajun once more, one more time coming up from behind. He wants to change the outcome of that last round. See if he could uh, do it a little bit better this time. He is going to be walking in. Spots out one guy. And it almost goes wrong. Alu's going to be the guy to kill him one more time. So Cajun, he's going to have nightmares about this. It's still one versus two. Alu taps the bomb once. And they are going to come and peek him here. He misses the shot. Close range and ends up dropping to Dupree. Still a fairly expensive round for TSM, but even more so for NIP. God damn, he was close to hitting that shot, though. Did you see that? Yeah. He was really close. That would have been a sick point blank clutch. Well, would have put him into a 1v1, a winnable situation. Definitely. But now, NIP, man, I might have cursed them. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I can see this going back and forth, and then TSM are like, no, similar. There's no mercy here on this server. We're here to just crush face. Five rounds, we have the money. Nip are back to pistols. Well, it's looking like they aren't going to change up their strat. Device is still pressing forward very aggressively on Plateau. It seems like that's kind of his go-to role now. What is this weird battle of patience here between Alu and Kerrigan? That's another thing. Kerrigan now playing on the other side of the map completely. How does that happen, though? That is a good question. Alu did go forward, but ended up dropping kind of low. Exist is going to be having an awkward fight with Simnix and he ends up falling low and that's going to be the end of the round there. So just device going down and TSM picking up a sixth round with um, NIP still a little bit out of the money in fact. Kind of going to have to eco one more time. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where you start wondering if they should have gone for the double uh, for the, the force buy because it was going to be a double. But it seems like uh, NIP strategy is to go for a double AWP. Forrest and Alu, get that off. I mean, if you if that's your strat, if that's your go-to plan, then you need money so badly. You can't really go for the risky plays like that. You have to kind of go more standard. I like the fact that everyone's picking up a grenade here. Now, can they actually use them for anything? Maybe a little bit too soon. Another one in there. Still got two left. Oh, nice delay. And the last one. So they tried to time them. They got some damage out there. Yeah. I still, I still think it's, it's worth trying every once in a while. Yeah. No, no doubt about it. No doubt. And it's going to keep device honest in the future. But um, in the meantime, they just go barreling straight out onto the A site. Bomb is going to get there. Device though has been abandoned. He's down to 25 HP. So this, yeah, exactly. Exist starts to sniff back around over here. He's like, wait a second. A device is now giving himself an out. At least maybe he can make his way out of here. And they're just hunting. Look at how aggressive TSM are. What is this? They're risking their guns, willing to go and take these fights. Wow, Dupree actually somehow comes out on top of that fight with Alu, who was you ended up being behind him in there. So that could have been a little bit interesting. But um, your device and Dupree somewhat low, and Exist just wants to hold on to this gun. Well, it's obviously going to be a seventh round here for TSM. And I think you're right, though. That double up setup, now that they've, they've sort of saved two rounds to get it, they got to make it work. They're going to have to come up with something big here. And the last time we saw it, Forrest didn't really... He got the one kill, but then he got trade fragged. And it came down to Alu. Oh, well, Forrest can't even buy the AWP, so... This is nasty. Did he... 
I guess what? He had the money. Yeah, he he could have gone for so, it. So okay then. I guess one is enough. Seems like it. Maybe based off of the, if not failure, then at least the, the minimal success of the earlier double up setup. They're just they're just not really willing to invest that much into it here. Nice grenade onto Carrigan. That's a very nice one. But Carrigan comes charging through and takes out Exist now. Maybe the only hope here is Forrest, who's sneaking up behind M4A1 in hand, and uh, maybe I just cursed him, because he just got completely down by Dupree. Yeah. And now it is going to be Freiburg trying to sneak in, get right, coming up from behind. So maybe maybe he's their only hope. Let's see, does he actually come through? He does have the backstab. There it is, first man down. This isn't a ghost, he's got some punch. Get right, gets a second one. And while the bomb is planted and they're trying to play for it, Freiburg is waiting on the word from uh, Get Right. Hollow gonna step out, gets the kill on his Zipnix, and they're getting picked off one after another here. Too many angles. Kerrigan worried about Balcony, and now it's gonna be down to Device. Last man, and he's given away his position. They're already on that bomb. He's trying to keep them off of it, but it's just not meant to be. Alu point blank gonna pick him off. And that is just so that scary for NIP. No kit. That was just a really, really weird retake. I mean, it was a great job by NIP, but what were TSM doing? They, they just seemed like they were all sitting in, in their own mm. little corners and thinking, I, if somebody else you know kills my teammates, I'll just wait here. It's like, like happy thoughts, you know? Yeah, like. as long as it's not me. Um, I don't know, that was, a, that was a strange round, but good job on NIP's part here. That's a round they really needed. Um, you're gonna put us at 7-4. And now they have an auto sniper. Yeah, now they have the auto on Exist. He'll do this every now and again. I mean, it's still so weird to see like a lack of auto on Get Right. Cause he used to be like the king of the auto sniper, the man who just did so much damage with that gun. But it's been a long time since we've seen him go for that. Whoa, well, missing a couple of shots here. That's dangerous and. Device, he's more than willing to take this fight and maybe a little bit too willing. Ends up dropping down and just playing in the beginning. I was like, I can't hit anything. Yeah, what was that? Yeah. I don't know. Forrest, get right there to pick it up. And now Dupree, last man left alive here. So TSM getting wrecked in this 12th round. And a good sign for NIP. They do need all the rounds pretty much that's left in this half. Every round they can get. Every round. Uh, he senses it. And Forrest, no backstab this time, so not a perfect round for NIP, but still looking pretty good if they can keep four players alive here. Now that they know where Dupree is playing from, they can back off and just hold the angles rather than try and force the challenge, force the fight. So this is smart play by NIP. And all this round really comes down to just picks. Oh. TSM spreading out. Yeah, look at that. On the bench as well. Not the a very comfy bench, though. But the marble bench. Yeah, not a very comfy one. But, Decent you know. carvings, but um, I, I agree. Comfort level, almost zero. Yeah. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you know, recline for very long on that one. So it's one of those things where if it's been, if it's been, you know, it's cold outside, even if the sun is, you know, shining, you put, you know, you sit on that bench, then you're still gonna be cold. Mm -hmm. Transfer all the cold right into you. It's no fun. Oh, what's no fun is getting shot in the face. And Alu, he gets dropped down to 65. Forrest though peeks out and Forrest again. He's being very successful getting frags up here in the apartments. Yeah, he's playing very re reactively. Like he's just a. Uh, a little bit aggressive in the beginning, enough so that TSM are caught off guard, and then afterwards they seem to fall back and play slightly safer. So really good job right now for NIP here on the 13th round they start off. And also TSM, uh, really low on money, so Tech9 here on Sipnix, they need to they need to find their way back into the, the groove that they had going on TSM. They, they did have a, a pretty good pattern going on here at one point, you know, 7-3. And now it's uh, changed. NIP looking to take a sixth round. Well, nice smoke flash timing, and that was the key frag right there. Dupree taking out Freiburg early on. They're going to try and set up again. That's Scar 20 in position in Hen House. It's going to come down. Whether can they, can they actually flash exist out of this position? No, they can't, but again, he's a little bit too slow. Get right will get the job done, though. Point blank shot, taking out Zip, and now it's going to be KGB looking for the angle, and KGB once again, no joy for him. And Get right just locking down the A site. Three kills, just completely stopping TSM cold. And you're just fascinated with how these new models, just, you know, the new physics, how they work. I am. I feel like it's uh, it's a bit strange. Did they actually just drop exist a Scar 20? Yeah, they did. You know what kind of death that I, I you know, like a, an animation that was in 1.6 uh, was? You know, it's the one where essentially, you, like, you headshot someone who has no armor, 
and then the blood spray sort of almost goes like a huge arc because mm. it's just like you know the head going back or something yeah, yeah. and then like one leg sort of kicks up as people die like there's a it's a very sort of almost like i would say like yeah. a classic death of 1.6 iconic yeah that's uh they should somehow bring that back or maybe someone should, maybe go and you find should stop it. living in the past anders so all us old people have you know i mean that's what you know Kerrigan there, actually trying to force out Exist with the Molotov and it worked in a fashion except that when he came out of Henhouse he did have that uh, auto sniper with him and did a lot of damage now. NIP trying to get back into it, Allo close range, missing the shot, running through the smoke, a little bit crazy and Allo, oh get right sorry here, gonna be alone in a 1 versus 2. They do not have the bomb currently and he's gonna fight Simnix and win device there with the perfect timing. That is gonna be the round for TSM after losing three in a row. It's going to feel pretty good for them, and that's going to move us into the last of the half where NIP can just manage to buy. So just good job on their part. Barely, yeah. Alu could go for... He could go for the AWP here, actually. No, but the... Yeah, no, they could. This could work. Let's see. But no, goes for the M4 instead. So maybe not feeling the op. He's missed a couple of point-blank shots, and that might have uh, spoiled it for him. So that's something to consider. Get right. Top fragging by some margin here compared to his teammates. 15, 1, and 9. Definitely a very good job on his part. It looks like it's going to be down in the middle. Allo playing close range. Forrest has already gone down. Allo getting the initial spray. And a second. And that's actually very impressive. Looked like he was about to do absolutely nothing this round. So, uh, really good job on his part now. If they get the bomb down, the big problem is Dupree's going to be here in connector playing around. Or in unconnected, but in drop zone. They heard him. They heard the drop? It seemed like they did. Freiburg picks up the kills. A good job on his part. Device with a nice headshot, though. And that's get right down. Oh, oh, through the doors. Cajun can't catch a break today. That was the key frag. And now they're going to be able to get that bomb plant. Finally, the bomb is getting up onto the site. But now there's just so much time here for Freiburg to work with. He's wondering if it's going to get aggressive, if it was going to be a fake. But that's just not the case. And now Freiburg sets it up. Flash is going to be ineffective, but Device is so low on HP. He's got to take this very carefully. And Freiburg trying to make the shot a little bit more difficult, playing with these angles. He's got the health advantage, but he's caught jumping, and that puts him very low indeed. And Device is going to come in and finish the job there for a triple kill. A bit of, a, I think, a, a giveaway for, from Freiburg's point of view there, maybe. That could have been a, a really important round there for NIP, oh, so a um, little, little bit of a shame, I think. Oh, that could have been monster. That could have been, I mean, 8-7? I mean, it's still... 9-6, I, th I still think, is, like, manageable, it can, right? Yeah, it could be. It could definitely be done. It's still, it's still something that uh, NIP can work with, but if they could have finished at 8-7, we would be looking at a totally different beast here. So, Bay Life, what? I don't understand. I've, you know, looked at it a couple of times. But it's better <laughs> than Carrigan's knife, which is called, I mean, now it isn't, but on the terrorist side, it's called uh, Sausage. So, <laughs> don't, don't know why. It's, that, but I thought Denmark was all about bacon. So, what is this? I don't know. I guess Sausage is like, it, it really is like more of a German thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, we're kind of in the heartland of it right here. Yeah, although we do have like the Wiener Schnitzel. It's like it's like shared, I think. Some sauerkraut. Yeah, we have our own kind some of sauce. Schmetterling. Yeah, all that good stuff. That's true, actually. Denmark, it's... Denmark has got some some good hot dogs. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're all about. Civic's already low. Get right, gonna be able to finish him off on a second headshot on Cajun B. And now, NIP off to a good start. Carrigan trying to hide in the corner, and he's gonna pick up a headshot as he strays back in, looking for a bit more backup. Is here as well. Carrigan just has to bait them out, but Freiburg gonna pick up the kill. He's just to pick up one there, and I think Dupree and Carrigan, there was some miscommunication there. They could have played that much better. Now it's all on device here. Walking up behind with a dual, he's running headshot on one. Spots another one and trying to take this fight. He's got 10 bullets left, but he goes down to exist at 8 health. And that's going to be NIP winning a huge round. I don't even. <laughs> I actually got for a moment that I believed. Yeah. So I'm like, reload? What's that? He doesn't need to. He can, take, he can fight forever. You see the ADAD coming out from device? I thought that he was actually going to be able to pull that off for a second. If they need to update, like, buff the dualies any further, like, the buff should just be that if you run out of, like, bullets in one gun, you can just, like, toss it and pick up another one, like, you know, so then you have, like, one dual in one USP in your <laughs> But you have to have two, that's the rule. Two guns at all times? Yeah. I just think it'd be, like, a more theatrical way to reload, you know, where it's, like, Hollywood style, you know, just throws the clips up, both clips drop out, it's just, like, you know, <laughs> flip it over, the clips fall into the guns, just like, there you go. Mm -hmm. That yeah. would be sick. I would buy dualies every, every round, you know? Just for the huge shoot, one bullet, and then reload. Yep. Just keep going. 
Oh, Carrigan as a scout. Three C set 75s in play on TSM side. NIP are not exactly super kitted out here either. They, for one, don't have a lot of grenades to check anything with. They also have three SMGs. Make that money. Alu and Forest. Double up on T side. That could work. That could definitely work. Yeah, if, especially if TSM is playing just a little bit aggressively. Carrigan over here, still jumping away with a scout. Got a good read on the situation though, NIP. The stack over on the B site for TSM is not going to be effective if all four, I mean, four members here for NIP are just going to go crashing onto this A site. It's only Kerrigan. He's been spotted. They know where he's playing from. And now it's up to him to draw the attention, and it works perfectly. Dupree's got an AK to work with now. Oh, he hits that shot, and they actually line up the pre doing huge damage from Sipnix, picking up all the kills. Bombs down, 15 seconds. Exist. He can't even do anything at this point. Might as well just admire the, the, the Dragon Lore out up here. <laughs> It's all done with. He actually is oh, coming back to do that. Yeah, fancy that. He was thinking the same thing. Yeah, maybe like a, a maybe mace? a mace here. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Diablo recently, Semla. Uh, I mean, like, just look, imagine getting smacked familiar. in the face by these things, man. That would be a nightmare. I wonder if they are, like, lightning enchanted or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I have been playing a lot of Diablo. What was it again? Well, lightning enchanted is all about Warhammer 40k, bro. Sorry, Thunderhammer. Like, that's where it's at. I I played Warhammer, but not 40k. I played the the the, the regular one. See, you were, you were vanilla. <laughs> had like figurines, map. and I was painting them, and I, I have always I had, been, I had some chaos marine. I, I had some, or some chaos. Uh, always been a bit of a nerd, really. For Warhammer, exist. <laughs> it's gonna pick up a kill there onto device. So a really good start for uh, struggling NIP who do not have a lot of money. So uh, running AK headshots. Oh my God, oh. exist. Gonna pick down Cajun B as well. What is going on here? They've decided to just make this as painful for, K for Cajun B as possible. Like, every time, Cajun is getting a bullet to the face. This is horrible. Yeah. Not having a good time right now, Dupree. If he had won that fight, he could have maybe just ran away, and I think he's going to do just that. But, you know, one of those situations where you don't want to stick around too much longer. A little bit of a battle going on through the door, but... Still a winnable round here for TSM as they've slowed down everything. Dupree, nice shot on Alub. Carrigan will go down. It exists finding a third kill of the round for himself. And looking to continue. At least they remove Get Right from the equation. He's the one doing a lot of damage for an IP. But Dupree's over on that A side. He's moving his way back into connector. But there's a backstab coming in. At least he realizes that. Forrest might be in for a bit of a rough surprise. Exist is just on a rampage right now, though. There it is. Steps out into the open, but Dupree fails to get the kill. Forrest too quick for him in the end. Quad kill for Exist as well. That was a, that was a sickening round, especially that kill on Cajun. Like, I don't know how to respond to that. This That's one of those take your headsets off moments where you're yeah. like, I can't even, like... Just you're trying to make him cry, you know? Same on you, Exist. Trying to make a grown man cry. Uh, yeah, it's also dangerous because Cajun is one of those players you don't want to, you know, piss off. He, he he tends to take things personally and he comes after you, you know. It feels like it's been a long time since we've seen that beast mode Cajun though. Cajun, Cajun Hulk? Yeah. Just like the monster that, that just rampages around and fall in yeah. a china shop sort of thing and ninjas are the china. Oh, Exist and Allo, two good kills here. Important for NIP to win a round like this. Without losing too many players, Sipnix will pick up one and hasn't even reloaded yet. Gonna do a little bit of damage to Forest, but uh, actually, no, not even any damage. Forest just running through and getting a couple of kills here, and now it's gonna be all up to Dupree. Yeah, Dupree, he's got the dig. Can he find the one shots? I mean, we've seen him do it in the past. Safe plant. And there it is. Get right. Good night. Let me introduce you to my friend, Juan Dig. Say hello to my little friend. Exactly. Do you know the do you remember like the, the the trolls in like Warcraft 2? I can't remember if they did in Warcraft 3, but in Warcraft 2 that was like a sound file. Really? Yeah. Yeah, if you kept clicking on them, you know, like that's always been a feature of like Blizzard uh -huh. games. You kept like clicking on them, they would have like different audio files they play. Someone find this and tweeted at me, yeah. It was like the, 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 the axe throwing trolls would say, you know, say hello to my little friend. Yeah, it's really good stuff. <laughs> I love it. It's we've all got, about Austin Powers, though, bro. We've got two suits in play. They've actually... They, device, Cajun... Are they dead to you? They are dead. I, we used to be friends. They've been nerfed, Sumler. What do you want? I mean... I want... I... Someone like, has basically, to do it. Like, basically, if you try and buy the Zeus, it should just go off in your hands and... 
and just fry you at the start of the round. I don't know about that. Gerite wants to take a peek, and Cajun is here, and I, for one, am more than ready. Device is also over here, but it's just gonna be him left. No Zeus happening this time. Maybe that sweet Karma Assembler, it's, it's back here to haunt the Zeus players. Cajun is gonna go down. That was his cover, by the way. He had this thing in front of him, hiding safely behind. Good job, Exist. 10-10. Good on you. No, but it's like, say hello to my little friend. And he opens the trench coat, right? And it's like a little guy <laughs> with a gun coming out. <laughs> yeah, Austin Powers. Oh, God. Probably one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> I love gold. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a lot of fun, yeah. I'm smoking a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so weird. <laughs> Alu and Forest, it is that double ops T side setup um, that you sort of, you know, theorize maybe they could go for it. And they have done it, but Kerrigan is just going to be a little bit better here. Taking down Freiburg for a good early kill. We are tied at 10 10 as a scoreline here. And it does seem like this turned into sort of a fairly even fight between these two teams. Interestingly. Yeah, where it's, it started to look like TSM were going to run away with the game at the beginning of the first half. Now, all of a sudden, you're right. We've got a game on our hands. And Forrest, there we go, buddy. That was class. That was style. He's going to get killed for it, but hey, we'll, we'll give him points for the first shot. That was a thing of beauty. That was, you know, if you ever wanted some indication that Forrest is an, an X 1.6 player, it's right there. Very, very classic 1.6 type peak. Um, it was more stable in that game to do it. It was less mm -hmm. of a risk. Um, cause, uh, yeah, it was just a little bit faster to shoot in that sense, but, um, still very cool to see it back in action and, and then obviously an adaptation from the so-called AWP nerf that happened at one point that had everyone very angry, yes. um, until everyone realized it's maybe okay. Cajun hiding in the corner, gonna be looking the wrong way and get right, picks up that kill even though he shouldn't have. Device now on the site and it's been a while since he's really gone ballistic here, trying to see if he can stay hidden, gonna get the second kill which is huge obviously and now Alu alone trying to put down this bomb with 10 seconds left, he's gonna be successful for only a second. He, that, he didn't even get a chance to enjoy that success even though he is looking, you know, like he's about to be painted like it's one of the French girls. Relaxed, but, uh, yeah. He's like, I did my job. Now I'm just gonna sit here with my pasties. Relax in the sunlight. I mean, good old time. Look at him. Yeah. That man doesn't have a worry in the world. Well, that's gonna be 11 10. Moving into the seventh round, second half here. Alu buying another AWP NIP. In fact, spending a lot of money in this round. Um, and so is TSM. So, you know, this is, this is where a lot gets decided, it feels like. When both teams are low on money like this, usually indication that, uh, that we've got sort of a, a pivotal round coming up. This is going to be the one that decides it all in NIP. At least at the beginning, they're taking a very frontal approach. Deep nade going in, just tagging up Freiburg a little bit. And there's the anti-rush nades. All of this becoming very standard indeed. And now it comes down to the timing for Cajun and whether he gets a bullet to the face again. There's the Molotov forcing him out, but there's no follow-up from NIP. Counter flash there to just stop them before they can make their way out of the smoke. And right now, NIP, they might be second-guessing themselves. So many flashes going out. In fact, the TSM, they have to be careful. They have to pace themselves. They don't want to run out of, too, out of nades too early on in the round. And Dupree had a huge flank going on that completely and utterly failed. It's a good job that Carrigan picks up that kill, because otherwise, they'd be in a very weird position here. Sitnik's going to get a good shot there on Exist and shot him down and Cajun boosted up. He spots the edge, but can't pick up the kill on Forrest. You can tell that he just saw something then, and it wasn't quite enough. Now it starts coming to it. Single HE left, only nade they have to work with. Kerrigan rotating over, just worried about the backstab for a moment, but he's close enough in connector now where he can have an impact. And there it is, the peak from Device, he gets antsy, steps out, and now the shots are it. No damage dealt! Freiburg with solo HP, still alive, and he dodges the HE as well, but Zipnix is there to bring the pain. Two kills for him, and it's gonna be down to Forrest. 25 seconds left, and he's hightailing it out. Or is he? Oh, is he going to try and play this one for the win? Guess yeah. saving an AK isn't that big of a victory for them, but 10 seconds left, more or less, and he's trying to see if he can get in here, hoping that TSM have given up on the bomb site, which they kind of are. Forrest now back inside here, 21 health, and somehow he's going to make his way over, trying to get the spray down. He's going to lose the round regardless here. Hiding, and this is not a good place to hide. Sipnix will take him down. That's going to be a quad kill for Sipnix also. Top fragging at 22 kills. Can I just point out that we've seen this a couple of times from different players, and it's something that the TSM weren't doing this time around. If you're covering here and you take a shot and miss it, 
and then you sort of fall back. If you re-peek and they're going to be out there, that seems like a very bad move. What, what I think we, people really should be doing is, is just looking here. Just keep looking and shooting through the wall. Like, mm. just don't change your crosshairs. Don't move your mouse. Just keep the same angle and then shoot through. It's, I think it's a much better choice because yeah. that's basically just paper-thin wall over there. That's one of the few... Excuse me, one of the few places left where you just take full damage, pretty much. Oh. Good anti flash. Buying enough time. Wow, that actually bought enough time for Zipnix to get a position to shut down Get Right. Device sails a nade in there and takes out Freiburg. And well, this is going to be a very ugly round here for NIP. Unless Exist has something magical left, but only a single kill for him. Three for Device, two for Zipnix. 13 10 the score, and TSM are now three rounds away from locking down this map. Yeah, we're kind of trying to say it's been easy. I mean, that, that pivotal round that we talked about, it went in favor of TSM. They came out on top of that one, and as a result, the NIP economy has been fairly broken. Not that TSM have a lot of money, but um, still more than the Swedes right now. 13 to 10. We'll see if they can um, carry it home here. That'd be a good round with TSM defeating Fnatic and NIP. It'd be a good night's nice work, no doubt. And there it is, double spray down for Dupree. About as easy as it gets. Dodge is the flash, and Dip just go walking into the blender. And notice how TSM is one of the teams that has actually held on to the M4A1. What exists? He couldn't have had more than half a foot on the ground there when he landed that headshot on the pre. That was a little bit ridiculous. And Forrest spraying down device through the door. They're trying to make their way back here, but Carrigan says no and now get right and exist. What could they do? Well, now it's Cajun, and Cajun is close enough to hear the steps. He knows exactly what's coming. Rotation is coming out from his mates. This is it. The moment goes for the incendiary, decides to brave it. And there it is. Get right. Just takes that fight bravely, but he gets shut down by Kerrigan. He exists taking out Zipnix, though, and there's no way. With 11 HP, do, do they have any idea how low he is right now? Yeah, Kerrigan swaps to the AK. Yeah, they might have some indication. Feels like there's a chance. I mean, Forrest tried to do this fake, but he stayed at B last time, so maybe Kerrigan... Has that in the back of his mind. He is making a really good guess right here. And Exist going to be walking in. This could be a very unfortunate end to the round for Exist if he gets caught looking in the wrong way. Obviously, one bullet is going to be all it takes. Wow. He's going to be going for that safe plant. And Kerrigan right now is just waiting to see if there's going to be any kind of adventurous play. Bomb going to get planted, though. Flash goes out. Failed. Very nice. And now Exist just goes leaping out into the open. And Kerrigan not hitting the shots. I don't know why Exist is still alive, but Carrigan is going to try and get a little bit closer here. Smoke is up. He's got a kid. He's got plenty of time right now. Headshot. Not going to happen. Carrigan ends up winning that fight. Could have been, but it wasn't. At least they get the bomb plant, which is going to be important right now because they are running out of money um, and they need that $800 bonus here. Another round for TSM. 14 to 10. And the money for NIP, well, is just enough for a buy here. Two players still able to buy AKs. Yeah, Freiburg. Does he skimp on the helmet? No, he goes Galil. Okay, that's their workaround. I'll lose just like nah, nades. Nah. I'll just take an AK. Don't thanks. need. Don't need. But Freiburg is willing to take the hit just to get a few more nades to work with here. And they actually they actually do have a reasonable count. But then TSM are fully equipped now. They've they've done away with the AWP as well. Kerrigan didn't even Well, it was dropped on the other side of the map, but they haven't bought a new one. That's the important thing. TSM willing to rely on the rifles right now to get the job done. And now at NIP, there's no like ultra aggressive approach, it seems. They've kind of spread out across the map, just kind of putting shots through. Forest tagged up a little bit, exists as well. Um, in the meantime, not really much gra ground has been gained here for NIP. Just set up where they usually would be. Device playing behind the boxes. A nice opening for exists. It's going to get that opening frag once again. He's playing really well on the plateau here. And they might need him to do just a little bit more. Oh. Still up here. I mean, 10 to 14, Sipnich just strolls in and picks up that kill in return. And Carrigan barely wins the fight against Freiburg. And can he make it back around the corner? Yeah, Alu can't read uh, Tally with that shot there, so a bit of a shame. It's unreal. Zipnix, he's fragging so hard. And get right and Alu now, they're just the last two alive. Bomb is out in the middle of nowhere. 40 seconds left on this clock. Two players about to peek this man here in connector. But then get right decides to go ahead and take this fight. That one drop, though, that would have been it. And Cajun knew that he was going to be close. That one, just no, the, the audio signal, whatever. The sound yeah. of his boots hitting the ground. And well, let's see. Flash, Alu turns. Still a bit of a firing squad waiting for him. And Cajun will be able to pick up the last frag of the round. So Cajun coming back into it a little bit, slowly but surely. Still bottom fragging. It seems like Cajun is really struggling with... Uh, 
with getting those high scores these days. Zipnix just isn't interested in sharing. No, apparently not. Him and Device doing a pretty good job on the other team. There's a similar sort of uh, uneven distribution exists and Getright doing the most work. Freiburg and Alu a little bit further behind. Um, but it's 15 to 10 here. It's about to get uh, very tough for NIP. They need to win five rounds in the road to bring it into overtime. They've got a sawn off shotgun on the lineup there for Getright. Maybe not a good sign. Yeah, they're going full JW. Maybe just, uh, you know, it's a sweet thing. And that's what they're hoping for, it seems. Molotov's going out. This is a full execute from NIP onto the site, but they're getting pinned down. All who on plateau is gone. And Cajun chooses now to reload. Bit of a tough spot, and there it is. Forrest with the punish. The backstab fails, though. Get right with that sawn off. It's not going to work, and the vice gets overwhelmed, but it's Freiburg alone. And in a 1v2, he will fall. 16 to 10, the final score. TSM doing good work yet again. Very solid performance for them, actually. We'll have to look at the, how the group... Um, how the group pans out there, because that that's two very important uh, wins for TSM tonight. It is, and I think uh, Sipnix ended up at 27 kills at the end, so also a pretty good job on his part. It's going to obviously, uh, yeah, give a little bit of confidence to him. Well, they were in third position there after the first win of the night for TSM. Now they're up 4-2, so that, that, pretty, that puts them pretty firmly in, uh, in spot uh, number three right now. Mm. So they're right behind Navi and Fnatic. I mean, one more win and they tie Fnatic, so... All right then. And Fnatic are still sitting at the top, despite the fact that they have another loss. Their round difference is godlike. Yeah. Like, so that's pretty much keeping them at the top of the food chain. They've for had a some while good yet. stomps going uh, going their way. Well, uh, we are not done for the evening. We still no. have Dignus as a mouse sports coming up, being no. a game that I'm pretty excited to. Dignus has seem like super motivated lately. Like really, really, they've got their mm -hmm. their eye on the prize. They know they have to improve a lot before the major tournament. And mouse sports, the same thing too. I mean, they've had a couple of runs where they didn't qualify, and now they're finally ready. Both these teams are going to be at the major tournament, so it's going to be very exciting indeed. Um, yeah, the next major is going to be amazing. Yeah, it definitely will be. Um, game is scheduled to start in about 15 minutes, I believe. So you guys have, again, a little bit of time to get something to drink before we get back into the action. So stay with us. It's Dignus House and Mouse Sports coming up in just a little bit. This is Maniac. I am Shroud, and I play ACA. And I play on ACA. 